state has shut down all the pumps at a gas station. Customers told Action News Jax was selling bad gas. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. We told you on Action News Jax at 11 last night, several customers complained their cars were damaged after getting gas at Flash Foods location in Fernandina Beach. Hours later, the pumps at that station were covered up. Action News Jax, Courtney Cole is live in Fernandina Beach. Courtney, the state told you its tests show that there was sediment in the tanks. And that's why the Department of Agriculture gave this location here a stop sale order. So I know traffic is pulling up, but you see this gas station, there are no cars there. And John, all day we've seen customers pull in and out only to be turned away. Alexander Eckhoff says he gets gas at this Flash Foods on Sadler and 8th every single day. When I pulled up, I didn't understand why there's tags all over the pump. Um, I thought maybe they'd ran out of gas or something. But when we told him we were here to follow up on allegations of tainted gas, he was furious. I asked them inside. They wouldn't really explain why. They just said they're working on it. Action News Jax told you last night when a Flash Foods customer told us it cost him hundreds of dollars to repair his car because of water in the gas tank. After our story, Eddie Shepard reached out to us and said his wife's car had the same problem after filling up at a different Flash Foods in the area. She was out on the highway and her car, had she had just filled it up at the Flash I think it's store number 179 at O'Neill in Nassauville. And um, the car stopped right in the highway. The State Department of Agriculture told us today it found water or other material in the tanks and issued a stop sale order. Now you can see right now that there are plastic bags over the gas nozzle there, as well as the red tag that we told you about that prohibits sale from happening at this location. The Department of Agriculture told me they took samples from all of the grades of gas. They sent it to Tampa for analysis. And then in the last 30 minutes, I learned that they should have those results back within a day or two. When we get those results, we'll share them with you both on air and on our Action News Jacks app. Reporting live in Fernandina Beach, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.